So basically, I am the biggest retard ever and just videoed myself for like 15 minutes talking and then deleted it. Um, so I'll just, <laughs> I'll do a quicker video anyway, 15 minutes is too long. Um, so since last time I talked to you guys, um, I've, I left um, Denver really, really early, uh, flew out of Denver at like 8 o'clock, flew for ages all the way across from Denver to Amherst, which is actually a very far distance, um, took hours and hours, I slept the whole way. Um, finally got here, met up with Taryn, my friend from I House, and her housemate, and we hung out for a couple of days, we went hiking and saw the snow and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so, about the third day I was in Amherst, I came to uni for orientation, met so many internationals. The Americans hadn't arrived yet, so we uh, were just all hanging out together. We went to parties. We got to know each other pretty well. I met people from Wales, Scotland, um, Germany, France, the Asia, Asian countries, um, yeah, just lot, lots of internationals. And then finally, on about the third day we were here, the Americans came back. And then it's just been hectic ever since then. There's been parties, there's been, you know, icebreaker activities on our floor and stuff like that. Um, I've, re I've really enjoyed meeting all the different people. Um, so the towers that I live in, there's about 26 floors. Uh, each floor has maybe 40 to 50 people on them. Um, like a lot of people live in, in this residence. Um, it's in an area called Southwest, which, um, is kind of known for the, um, college, like atmosphere, you know, partying and stuff like that. Um, and one of the places to eat in Southwest is called Berkshire Commons or Berkshire Dining Commons. And it's probably the biggest dining commons at the campus, um, out of about eight different ones. So they, um, we've been going there and there's like, at our house, there was probably four different kinds of, um, four different options for dinner at this place. There's probably about 50 or 60 different options. There's pizza and hot dogs and pasta and hamburgers and, you know, burritos and all different kinds of things. Um, which is real, it's really, really fun, except the only thing is it's really, really packed as well. There's probably about a thousand people there between the times of... 6 and 7.30. Um, my friend, I'm in my friend Courtney's room right now. She just got out of the shower. She might come and Hi. say hello. Uh, that's her. She's in a dressing gown. Um, yeah, so the, the food, the classes here are so much more hectic than they are back home. I got to class on my first day and they said, okay, you've got to read chapters two through five and then the introduction to this book and then you've got to write a think piece or like a, a reflection on that thing that's due by the end of the week. So basically you have to you have to read it all. And what I've done is I've only got class on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday morning. So I've set Wednesday as my like homework day. Um, I'm just going to try and smash out all my readings and all my homework on Wednesdays. I don't know how well that'll work, but the, plan, the idea is that I can have classes Tuesday, Thursday, and then travel all weekend, Friday through to Monday. Um, the other thing about all the classes, too, is that um, I, whenever I speak up in class, the rest of the class, because you know I have an accent or whatever, it's kind of um, new to them. Um, and I can bring a new perspective and stuff on, on class discussion. Like I have this one um, environmental policy subject where it's generally about American policy, obviously, but um, the teacher and all the students are really interested to hear about what the similar policies are in Australia. So I was talking about like the Murray-Darling Basin Plan and things like that, and different planning legislation and stuff. Um, and they're, they're all really fascinated by it, which is cool. Um, yeah, and then since I got here, I've been to like 20 different parties, meeting people all the time. Um, every day I meet someone new. And then I guess the basic atmosphere of, um, the place is just very, the campus is enormous. Um, back at Wollongong, when you first get there, it's like the city's huge and then the campus is big and stuff like that. Um, in Amherst, the town is really small. There's only about maybe 20... The whole population is about 40,000. Um, the town makes up about 20,000 of that, and the rest of that is 
students on campus. So the campus probably takes up a good chunk of the whole area of the town. And I reckon it would take you at least maybe half an hour, half an hour to 45 minutes to walk all the way from one end of campus to the other. It's really, it's really quite big. Um, yeah, so um, the other, th other things that I've noticed about America is there's not, the culture's generally the same. There's not many differences. Um, oh, one difference is um, there's squirrels everywhere. Like, I see squirrels every single day all, all over the place, and I'm, like, really obsessed with them. They're just kind of like little balls of mischief that just run around, and um, I, like, chase after them and take photos and stuff, and I've got a few odd looks. Um, the other thing, the, uh, another thing that we have noticed is the number of American flags flying all over the place. We went to a shopping mall yesterday where right in the middle of the shopping mall there was just an enormous flag just hanging from the ceiling. And I don't, I don't think that would occur in Australia. Um, maybe around Australia Day or something like that. But it just, sh it just shows the difference in the patriotic kind of way of life or something, I don't know. Um... So yeah, uh, apart from that, I'm, I'm just really enjoying it, having a lot of fun. We're going skiing tomorrow. It's about minus five outside today, so it's quite pleasant and mild, to, to be honest. It's been really cold. It was like, oh, I was sitting in class, and I was talking to the girl next to me, and she said, oh, it's probably about zero outside right now. And I was like, oh, okay, zero Celsius, fair enough. She didn't mean Celsius. She meant Fahrenheit, which was probably about minus 17 during the day. That's how cold it's been getting, but whatever, it's different. It snowed last night as well, um, which is cool. Anyway, I'll head off again. Um, sorry for keeping it so long. I know you guys were anticipating this video for, for a while, <coughs> and um, I will be in touch soon. Feel free to send me a message on Facebook or whatever if you want to Skype or something. Um, you can try and sort that out. So, yeah, um, see you guys.